Uh, hail to you guys as well. Um, a couple updates on the channel real quick. Uh, number one, um, <laughs> just don't start yelling. I don't think I yell too much. I don't think like I, uh, I, I yell too much anymore. To be honest with you, I'm too tired. <laughs> now when I wake up and YouTube has uh, uh, hit another one of my videos for something, uh, now I'm kind of like a Roger Murtaugh from the uh, uh, Lethal Weapons uh, movies where I just go, man, I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> uh, a couple channel updates. Uh, number one, I fucking hate YouTube. I don't know if that's new to any of you. Um, but uh, they're, they give me crap on all my videos. So um, I was sitting here today and, and I just, I don't feel like doing videos, right? I was like, I don't feel like doing a video. Fuck it, I quit. <laughs> you know, when, when you get that kind of feeling, we all have it doing just about any of our various jobs. We're just like, that's it, I'm done. But I realized something. It has nothing to do with my content or uh, my videos or the work or hanging out with you guys or talking to you or some of our great conversations here, uh, it has to do everything to do with YouTube. So I think I'm going to start doing more live streaming over here. I'll clip it together. I'll throw it up for YouTube if it's YouTube worthy. And if it's not YouTube worthy, then the people on YouTube will just not see my content anymore. Um, that's kind of how I feel about it. I'll lose a shit ton of money. <laughs> but... Um, you know what? I've got just about enough supporters here uh, to to survive. And so I'm, I'm kind of thinking about taking that leap and just being locals only uh, with some clip stuff going over to, to YouTube just to maybe bring in a couple extra ducats and to advertise over here on locals. Um, you know, the, it's happening now where so many content creators that I enjoy, like Paul Joseph Watson, um, some of the gang over on Lotus Eaters, uh, Jeremy from the quartering, who's now over here on locals, uh, Rakita law. Uh, he does, he used to do like four and five hour YouTube streams. Uh, now he does like an hour and he's like, um, I'm going over to rumbles now to finish the rest of this video. And if you want to join me over there, join me over there. He also has a, a locals page over here. YouTube's just gotten to the point where you have to watch what you say, or you have to do such like blase blase uh, videos that if you want to talk about something that's meaningful, like men's suicide, oh, can't say suicide. Okay. Self-deletion. What about depression? Oh, you can't say the word depression. It has to be deep sadness. Just fucking hell, you know? Uh, Cobalt5, uh, Cobalt sent $25 tip. More exclusive locals content. Don't worry about the money. We got your back. Dude, you guys have been crazy good, especially you, Cobalt, and some of you others on the Saturday night streams. Um, I, I actually now am afraid of you, Cobalt. I can actually genuinely say um, I fear Cobalt when I do my drinking during movie nights because that man will buy me so many shots, my face goes in the mud. And it's all for a good cause. It's for the men's retreat. And I appreciate that. Um, and it's fun. I say this in fun, but believe me, I never thought I would be I would be, you guys dragged me to deep waters earlier and earlier, so much so that last time I accidentally deleted the stream after we were done, and I don't remember the last two movies we watched. That's how crazy you guys get during our, <laughs> during our movie nights. Movie night is the highlight of my week now. I enjoy it more than any other thing that I do. I love hanging out with you guys. I love everybody here on Locals. I just hate YouTube so much now. Um, but the, the problem is now that what happens is when I take a month off from YouTube, um, they, they recommend channels and I'll, I'll get to the, the main stories here. I don't want to go too long about this. Um, uh, but I want you to guys to know my thinking. So when all of a sudden it seems like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, or I changed my mind that I'm going to do something different. I don't want you to think I got like ADHD or something, but what it is, is that when you take time off of YouTube, um, at me as a viewer, like, let's say I, I watch YouTube, right. And I click on all the usual guys and I watch their usual material every day. Well, if a guy takes a month off, I'm not clicking on his material as much because there's no new videos. And YouTube learns that algorithm and they say, oh, he's not clicking on this content anymore. We're not going to offer it. So after I take a, a month off, um, what happens is I'll put a video up and it'll get like 15,000, 20,000 views. Um, but what happens is then it takes months and months to kind of get back up to your, the old number of views. And it's very stressful. It's very stressful. 
Um, and I don't like how YouTube just keeps, it, 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 whenever I plan to do a video, if I'm thinking like, what am I gonna do for YouTube? I find myself doing the same shit over and over again, and it's really boring me. It's, I'm sure it's boring you, it's boring me. Uh, so I'm like, I, I'm, I'm gonna start doing more interesting content for locals, and then if it happens to make it to YouTube, then it happens to make it to YouTube. But all my content's gonna be for you guys over here. There's like 50,000 people here. My videos get maybe three, 4,000 views here. Um, but I, I'm telling you, man, just the, the censorship has just gone out of control. So that's my plan. The other thing is they're clearing more land. Uh, uh, I've, I've So far, I've got about an acre cleared of my 25 acres. I'm only having them clear the direct immediate area where my house is gonna be. Um, so they can leave like the big oak and pine and the big trees around the house. And they're very old and they're in very good condition. That's like the, the caveat to keeping the trees up, uh, which means they've been around for, you know, 50 years and they're not gonna blow over every time it rains. Uh, and then I'm clearing the scrub around and then I'm gonna probably bring in some pine, uh, pine trees and then spread pine needle all over the place. Um, and then uh, I do I do upload to Rumble. Everything I upload to YouTube makes it over to Rumble. Everything I do, it, it automatically gets backed up on Rumble. But if there's something that I do here um, that I don't think is YouTube available, I'll just put it straight to Rumble. But I'm hoping more people come over here um, because we can do things like movie night and uh, I can do a bunch of crazy stuff that you just, you can't even do on Rumble. Um, so, and then I've got another uh, almost three quarters of an acre and it's gonna be over to about an acre that I'm having cleared. And that's where I'm gonna be putting a cement slab and a steel building, like a garage and a garden. I'm gonna have a garden area, maybe some solar panels out there and all that stuff. But then I'm gonna be uploading that stuff probably to the Bachelor B-Sides, which is my second YouTube channel. Of course, all of it's gonna go here on Locals. Um, so, uh, so I get to do more exciting con content, talking about figuring out my new tractor or something that I'm doing on the property or uh, like my house build, my entire house build will be on, on there. Um, and then uh, let's see what, uh, but I just get to do uh, some, some, some fun stuff. And yeah, I'll be, I'll be planting food and growing food over there. So thank you to the, you guys that are subscribers over here. Again, it's five bucks a month. Um, but you know what? Those cups of coffees from multiple people add up and they add up enough that I can kind of tell YouTube to f off and maybe we can start doing more interesting content over here because what happens is it's hard to do videos for here and videos over there and videos and videos and video it's just too much uh freedom fighter sent two bucks thanks man uh just let some whale uh some land whales loose they'll clear your land i might get some goats i'm definitely gonna get some chickens or some ducks so anyway that's an update on everything um probably why you won't you'll start seeing less and less over on youtube i'm gonna try to keep enough videos over there at least to pay my rent. Uh, and then that way there's not too much uh, pressure on you guys. So I wanted to talk about this first. Uh, I think this is pretty sweet actually. Um, it's, it's getting closer. And the reason why I think that uh, things, that this particular thing can change the world for men is it finally allows men um, to not be able to be tricked when it comes to pregnancy. Um, it, it gives men the ability to trick women. And, and I'll tell you why that's a good thing. I don't normally think it's a good thing to trick women, but I'll tell you if you're a guy that has a vasectomy and you sleep with a woman and she, she tells you she's on the pill and your vasectomy never comes up and then all of a sudden she's pregnant and it's yours and she wants a bunch of child support. Uh, if you have a snip, you can. that's when you pull out the whole, oh, didn't I tell you? I have a vasectomy, I can't get you pregnant. We better go get a DNA test. And all of a sudden, oops. Oopsie doopsie, you find out she's lying, got pregnant from some other dude, whatever. Uh, was a dirt pounder, sent $10. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. I will, and I'm gonna be doing it for you guys more and more, more and more over here on Locals. And you, here's the thing, a lot of times, what I like about Locals too is it's a much smaller group. So I, I get to know you guys. Like I read the forums, I read your posts, not all of them, but I try to. I see your names, I see your interacting, I see some of your conversations. I know who thinks that uh, uh, national socialism is good. I know people that, that think, uh, I don't know, Christianity is, is a very big thing in their lives. I know other men that uh, like women and I know other people that hate women. 
I see all this stuff on the forums. And so I actually feel like when I'm doing videos over here, I feel like I'm, I'm talking amongst friends. So anyway, what's changing here is this gel injection birth control, uh, Vassal, Vassal gel. Um, this is going to be, this, this is from November 28th of 2018, but we have an update. We have an update. So what Vasagel is basically, and I, I pulled up this, I won't read through the whole thing, but it's a reversible male contraceptive that is injected into the Vons de France in order to block sperm from being ejaculated with the semen. It is non-hormonal, which means it will not affect other parts of the body. It is also long lasting. Now the problem they had with the other stuff like injections for men, pills for men, is it would totally fuck up guys' testosterone count. It would break out their skin. It would it would lead to a lot of problems. But so if you guys don't, so I had a vasectomy, as you know, and when you go in there, what they do is it's kind of, it was actually a really interesting, I'll tell you my, my vasectomy story here. And, and I'll, um, I, I won't get too graphic into the details. <laughs> but um, what they do is they give you like a 10 milligram, I think it's 10 milligrams of, um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Valium. That's, that's the word for it. Valium. And they give you like 10 milligrams of that. And they tell you to take that about an hour before you you walk into the doctor's office for the snip, just to relax you. So I, I took my Valium and, uh, went to the doctor's appointment. You have to have somebody drive you home, uh, because you may still be a little doped up from the Valium. Interestingly enough, I, I took the Valium. I didn't feel it for the entire, uh, operation. And about 15 minutes after it was done, that's why I was like, oh, now I feel the volume. So it was very, uh, very slow uh, acting on me. But uh, so I went in and and I <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen, by the way. So I went ahead and shaved everything, right? I shaved everything clean. Because when I went in, they always do this when they do a surgery of any type. They always make you shave so you don't accidentally get hair in the incision and other stuff like that. I went in there and there was this very cute girl and she was like, oh, uh, I'm here to to shave everything for you. And uh, I was like already taken care of. There was a little bit of me that was disappointed. I'm, I'm just saying, she was very cute. I wanted to impress her, what can I say? <laughs> anyway, so uh, they, but they, they have you lay on this thing and if you've ever been to the dentist, you know the blue napkin thing they put up around your neck and then they hook it around your neck with like a chain with a couple of roach clips on the end of it. Um, they they pull your balls through a blue thing like that. And, uh, and, and really, here's the interesting thing, right? The doc comes in with a needle, he injects it, and you think it's gonna be wicked painful. They, they do uh, spray on a little bit of numbing agent. You think it's gonna be really painful, but it's not like a kick in the balls painful. It's like a caught your caught your ball in a zipper kind of thing where it's a pinch and then it's gone. So I was like, hey, shot the shot wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Everything goes numb. He makes an incision about this long, maybe I'd say three or four millimeters, maybe five millimeters or like a quarter of an inch. And they t he takes these two things that look like crochet hooks, if you've ever seen mom's knitting, which is just like a pretty thin metal thing. It has just a little tiny like lumpy bump on the end of it. it looks like it can hook something and he sticks it in and he fishes out your Vons difference snip snip takes out about that much i had him take out about that much for me because i didn't want those is touching and growing back together accidentally he and then he does the other one he cauterizes them both tucks it all back in gives your balls a little put everything back in place one stitch done out Com that's it and the numbness lasts for another couple of hours for the drive home. And then after that, it kind of felt like you had a kick in the nuts. Um, not really bad, but just that kind of ball ache. You know what I mean? And it felt like that for a couple of hours, a couple of hours. And they always tell you frozen peas or ice or whatever. And that's it. And then you got to wait like, uh, I think they said three to five days, maybe a week until you can yank one off. And, uh, and then after that, like, you just want to clear your pipes for 30 days, uh, just in case any of the boys are still in the tube there and then you're good to go. It's like game on. So, uh, and, and then, yeah, you're officially shooting blanks. Well, what this stuff does that they're talking about here is instead of that injection, that at first injection that they inject and it makes you go numb, they're going to basically 
you, you can actually, if I don't know if you guys know this, and I'm not trying to, again, do the too much information here, but if you if you feel the skin, like when, you're, when your balls are kind of hanging there, if you feel between your nuts and your taint, I guess it is, that kind of just that skin area while your balls are hanging down in here and your skin's up here and your rod's up here, if you feel through that skin area, you can actually feel the Vons difference. It's kind of, it, it's about the thickness of uh, like a spaghetti stick, maybe a little bit thicker. You can feel it in there. And as, as a matter of fact, that's why after they were done, I was kind of, he was like, oh, here's how you can check yours. And I was feeling it and I could feel the ends of it. And then you kind of go down a little ways and there's the other end. So every once in a while, if I ever want to check and see if everything's still not touching and connecting and all that, I can reach down and find the ends of it. It's, it's pretty interesting. Um, so, uh, but after, but yeah, it's a little painful, but it was like, again, for me, it was 12 hours maybe. And then I was good to go. Uh, but here's the thing. So what they do here is they'll find your Vons difference. They'll, they'll stick the needle in. And again, they'll probably give you a local. They inject it with a little bit of gel that gets in your Vons difference and it kind of locks into place. It's so thick that it doesn't move. It's just like locked. And then what they do later on when you want it, I think it's every two or three years you have to go. They say it here. Um, uh, like they say, how long does it last? Uh, but it's, I want to say it's, um, uh, well, they don't have a time. They don't have a time frame on here, but they say if a man wants to regain his fertility, the Vassal gel can be flushed from the Vas difference using a solution of sodium bicarbonate, the same substance found in baking soda. So here's the cool thing, right? This is for you guys that say, you know what? I would get a vasectomy, but I think I'm going to meet the unicorn. I think I may want to have kids someday. You can get this injection and you it's kind of a completely like it's a completely it's a complete vasectomy except instead of cutting the tube, they just block it. That's the whole thing. So, so here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, guys. With this, this means that if if you get this injection number one you're firing blanks that means that if, you, if you're doing the casual thing and you still wear a rubber right and you fire into the rubber if she wants to take it and reverse it and try to get the baby juice out of there she's wasting her time right she's not going to get anything out of it if you're in a relationship and she says she's on the pill and you don't bring happen to bring up that you've got this blockage and all of a sudden she starts doing the oh i'm pregnant and it's yours and child support or give me money for a keep give me money for an abortion or now we need to get married or whatever else that's when you pull out the whole nope one of two things is happening you're either lying or you've been banging some other dude now i i again you might have to say okay you need to get tested because who knows maybe that gel slipped a little bit and maybe you did get her pregnant but you'll, you'll definitely have knowledge on your side being like, okay, let's go get that DNA test, which you should do anyway if a woman tells you uh, that you knocked her up. I don't care if it's your wife. If your wife's like, I'm pregnant, be like, all right, DNA test, let's do this. And yeah, I'm a, I'm a dickhead like that. that there's, there's too many. And if she's really offended by that, just be like, hey, it is what it is. Uh, but if, if you're upfront with a woman about the type of guy that you are and your expectations out of a relationship, she should know. Like any woman I'm with that, I, that I, I sleep with and that I'm having a relationship with, she's going to know if she says to me she's pregnant, you're getting tested. And she's going to know that before we even date. That's just that's just how I roll. Well, anyway, uh, this is an update. Uh, let's see. Is this the updated story? No, this isn't the updated story. I thought I had the updated story. Maybe this is the updated story. Anyway, whole point being update. Uh, it's now moving into uh, final trial phases. It's moving into, in, into final phases, which means that if it does go through, I think this can be a game changer for guys. It's probably going to be covered by insurance, but if not, even if it lasts for two or three, four years, you know what? If it costs you a couple hundred bucks to go into the doctor to get this done, do it. Do it. It's like, oh, okay, so uh, uh, Lexilla says uh, 10 years. Okay, there you go. 10 years. So if that's the case, guys, that means that if you're single, 
uh, always again, you know, if you're not going to be in a serious relationship and you're just kind of doing the one night um, fling here, right? If you're just doing the flings, if you're just out having your fun, make sure you wrap that monkey, you know, make sure you protect yourself if you're doing the one night stands because you can have another gift other than a baby that lasts forever. We like to call that the herpes or HIV or any of those. So just make sure that you check this stuff out and, and, uh, and, and look into this if you're going to be playing the field a little bit. Or even if you're just single and you're in a steady relationship but you have no plans for kids. Because here's the thing we hear all the time, guys. We hear all the time that men are, are, are irresponsible. And if women are getting pregnant and they blah, 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 then, you know, it's, it's, it's men's responsibility. Well, guys, here's our opportunity to be responsible. Here's our opportunity to say, hey, you know what? I'm being responsible. And now, whether you're pro-life, pro-choice, or actually, I, here's, here's a better way to put it, whether you're pro-life or pro um, you don't have to you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about the child support. You don't have to worry if she wants to keep it and you don't, or you you don't want to you want to keep it and she won't. None of that. You don't have to worry about child support. Nothing. Mm-hmm.